channel and it's grocery haul Wednesday. So let me show you what we got this week. Right y'all. So here is our monthly Sam's Club run. So I did pick up this watermelon because this is way bigger than any watermelon I have been able to find at Walmart. It was a dollar more, but I just wanted a bigger watermelon. So I grabbed that. We also grabbed this tote. It was just under $9. As you can see, it's slightly bigger than a than the pack of toilet paper. Um, it's time to pack up our size 4T clothes. So I needed another tote and I also got the toilet paper. So the toilet paper is, I believe it was $19.99. If not, then it was $21 something. Okay. I don't remember for sure. We also grabbed peanut butter because the Aldi brand, this was only eight. It was eight nineteen for the two and the Aldi brand, I believe is just over $4. I think they raised the price, which would make this cheaper. Plus I like the, the uh, texture of this better than I like the texture of the Aldi brand. So I went ahead and grabbed this. We also got three pounds of bacon for $11 and some change. I want to say $11.98. So that's a good price. Just slightly cheaper than Aldi's for their pounds. Um, I got some Miracle Whip. I got some um, grape jelly, and you know, this Miracle Whip is cheaper than anywhere else. Same with the grape jelly. This is even cheaper than store brand uh, grape jelly. I also went ahead and grabbed Halos because all of the mandarins that I have been getting from Aldi's and Walmart has just not been hitting my taste bugs right. Taste bugs, right? No, taste buds, right? And, um... I just really want my mandarins back, y'all. So does is there a trick to when to buy them? Maybe it's not a good time of the season to be buying them. Let me know in the comments below. Um, also, we got some bananas. And then I saw this on YouTube because I always, like, search a store. Like, I watched a couple of uh, What's New at Sam's Club uh, videos just to see if there's anything good that I wanted to keep my eye out on. And somebody had mentioned this. It's, like, a new type of fruit. It's a mix between a cherry and a plum. And so, of course, we had to try that. And then I went ahead and got this rotisserie chicken. This is what our dinner is going to be tonight. I did get our 90 count of eggs, which the price went back up another dollar. I'm blown, but it did. And then I got my coffee. I wasn't sure if I was going to need coffee this month or not, but I'd rather get it and have it than not get it and then not have it and run out. Um, we need it to restock our deodorant. So I went ahead and got this. It's a five pack. This also went up a dollar since the last time I bought it. It was $12.98. Last time I bought it was $11.98, but still decent for five of them. I got uh, two packs is of the strawberry pop tarts. These are my kids' favorite pop tarts and they were on sale for like $9.50 for the box. And so that's a good deal. So I went ahead and grabbed two to last us this month. I did grab some baby wipes, which these were $21.98. Last time I was able to get the uh, huggy wipes on sale for the same price, but not this month. Um, I got two boxes of the Go Go Squeezes. I like to get this brand only because it has less of the apple, apple, like the just plain applesauce because only one of my kids will eat this. So I get this brand because it has less of it. Like the other ones, it may be a little bit cheaper, but then they have more of these and less of the flavors, if that makes sense. And I believe that is everything at Sam's Club, y'all. I don't remember if I told you how much I spent. So I spent $225, but 150 of that was on food and 75 of it was on non-food items, which was just those three items. Or I forget the deodorant too, but that. So this is our puny little Martin's haul this week. This is the only thing I grabbed. I went ahead and grabbed the $2.99 a pound um, ground beef. This sale was a three-day sale, and I did uh, post it in my community tab that the sale started on Friday and ran until Sunday. But, yeah, so I grabbed this, and then this was also another deal that I grabbed. It's the Tyson's Chicken um, on Ibotta. There is a rebate where you buy one and you get the second one free, but it's a rebate. So you buy two at the store, and then you submit your receipt, and you get the rebate. The rebate was for $8.49 back when you buy two, which that's the price of these at Walmart. These were on sale at Martin's this week for $6.99, so I got $8.49 back, making it $5.49 for both of those after my rebate, y'all. And that's it for Martin's. I did spend... Um, 
$35. That's not counting. That's how much I paid out of pocket. And then I did get the $8.49 back. All right, y'all. So this is our Walmart haul. And as soon as I started recording, I realized I forgot to take those out the bag. So don't pay that no mind. But we did get four half gallons of our soy milk. There's two there, two here. And we did spend uh, $65, I believe. I can't even find my receipt. I do believe it was about $65, but I'll let you guys know at the end of the video for sure how much I spent. But, yes, yeah, so I also grabbed these mint-flavored baking chips. They sounded good, and I wanted to try them out. I like to add some of these to yogurt or whatever is what I was planning on doing with them anyway. I got some chocolate chips. I got some sausage links and a asparagus and broccoli which i need to get more veggies i didn't realize i got so little this is not gonna last us a whole week y'all oh my goodness anyways i got some watermelon and then i did the same ibotta rebate that i've been doing the last couple of weeks where you buy 12 and you get 419 back so i got 12 yogurts and then we got the half gallon for my hubby and i also got um, these chewy bars and we got some flour if you notice the mess in the background don't pay it no mind we went peach picking this morning and so I have had no time to do any chores y'all I got some um creamer and two jars of their pizza sauce and then I also grabbed the usual uh popsicles the walmart brand i got two boxes but then as i was leaving i saw these and it says candy clash i don't know it was different it was on clearance so i went ahead and grabbed these for the kids to try as well and that is it at walmart today y'all all right everybody so we just got back from all these i did spend 97 dollars, but 15 of that was non-food items so let's go ahead and dive into what we got so we'll start all over here i got the 10 pounds of potatoes so this was 4.99 and five pounds was i didn't see anything cheaper than 3.99 so i just went ahead and did the 10 pounds i've been keeping this in my fridge yes it takes up a lot of space but it keeps them fresher longer especially since we do not eat potatoes too often if you guys have any other suggestions on how to keep them fresher or longer let me know in the comments below i got three avocados some more asparagus some more broccoli because yesterday when i ran to walmart it was kind of last minute decision to go i um wasn't planning on it and i walked got walked out of there and got home and realized that what i got was nowhere near gonna be enough vegetables for the whole week so i went ahead and got more i did get a head of cabbage i got some of this white bread i've been loving some tomato and lettuce um sandwiches lately so i got this for me got regular white bread as well and then and we got the sugar and I picked up these two for me and the kids to snack on the key lime you see the kids already opened it up as soon as I got home as soon as I get home they're like okay what did you get good for us and I have to find something to give them so I gave them some of those but I've been on a lemon kick I like am loving the lemon flavor right now so I also got the lemon cookies and then I got four things of rice. I got the spinach and then I got the chicken flavored rice. So I got two spinach and two chicken flavored. I did get one of these electrolyte water flavors. And then I saw this and there's only three in a pack and it is roasted seaweed snacks. Um, I wanted to try them and I figured my husband may want to try them. I don't know, but I knew my son might want to try them as well. So I did get two packs they were $1.99 I figured it was definitely worth a try so I'm excited to try those out I did also get two packs of the cinnamon apple sauce and two of these fruit punch water flavors you know we guys this is what we drink a lot of they only had two that's all I could get so then we're over here and we got if you remember when I made that basket for my husband's boss we had bought these and I bought two of them. This is really good, you guys. It is $3 a bottle, but totally worth it. We tried to make the last bottle stretch as long as we could. We just ran out, so now I got another one. We also got some mustard. We've been using mustard to season like the ribs. My husband just did it for the ribs and the chicken legs that we just did. And oh my goodness, it tastes so, so good. And honestly, um, I'm liking that better than the oil, so we're going to be getting a lot more mustard. Um, 
Also, I saw this guacamole ranch. I just recently started eating ranch again and haven't had any uh, reaction. So I seen this and I was like, yeah, I really want to try it out. So I got the guacamole ranch and then I got the regular ranch and a bag of potato chips. Now let's get over here and see what else we got. So I also got two packs of the sharp cheddar cheese, a pack of the mozzarella cheese. I got two of the kielbasa, uh, turkey kielbasas, and then I got one of our chicken breast uh, lunch meat. And then I got some frozen vegetables because I realized I am not buying enough fresh. Um, I'm afraid to overbuy and then not use it. And then I end up underbuying and then running out like some weeks I might run out some weeks I might not and it's iffy so I decided you know what let's go ahead and get some frozen to keep in the house for the weeks that I just didn't do a good job so I went ahead and got the green beans these look so good I can't wait to try them I got some brussels sprouts it's been a while since we've gotten brussels sprouts brussels sprouts is like my favorite veggie and then I seen these and I never tried this before. So I'm going to go ahead and try this, the cauliflower, uh, carrots, and broccoli blend. And then I just went ahead and got two broccoli. And that is it for the food. I do want to show you what else I got. So I grabbed this. This was only $4.99. I thought it was super cute and awesome for learning for the little one. I am starting Christmas shopping. So that's what this is for. And then I showed you guys. Let me move this stuff out the way. So if you watched my Aldi ad preview, this was in the ad. We weren't really sure what it looked like on the inside. Um, I see it now. It says kindergarten to 12th grade. On the ad, I didn't see that. So I imagine that this whole book was just for one grade. But when I got there and seen that it was for all the grades, I was super excited. And I went ahead and picked it up. So it gets, starts with kindergarten. So it does not start with pre-K. It starts with kindergarten, which is where... Um, AJ is going this year, and so we will get started. I almost bought some for my other two younger kids, but I figured I'm hoping that they would still bring these back every year for when they start school. But, look, it's even got a height chart. It's got a reflection for 12th grade. Like, I'm just so excited to do this for them, for them to, like, look back in their life and remember all of these things. So it says you can write the school, the year, the age, your height, so you can remember how much you've grown. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. So it has little quotes on there. And it's items I have included are, so like it, whatever, it's, this is like a little folder that you can put little papers and stuff that they did. Like AJ is big on art stuff. So I would like to put a lot of art in here too for him because I really do see him doing something with that in his future, even if it's just a hobby. And I would love for him to be able to see like how he's evolved in it. Um, and then it's got like their favorite things so they can look back and so and remember what they don't like too so when I grow up I want to be so that is so cute you guys I'm excited for this this would be super cute to give them you know on their graduation to like reflect on all of their you know their school years so awesome cute it was $9.99 y'all so I highly recommend this is so cute if you got one start in kindergarten too so I would like to go ahead and break up this video and say to you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you are enjoying this grocery haul I post these hauls weekly and I also post a look at our Martin's deals and if you don't know Martin's is uh, owned by a giant and their deals seem to be the same from what I can see on my computer and there's a few of y'all that had said yes they are the same so be sure to check that out and see if it's the same so you can grab the same deals and um I would love to have you join our community so if you like it please hit the subscribe button plus I'd love to learn about you and hear from y'all so Leave comments and like the video to help my video get out there and help our community grow. I'd also love to give you guys an update on the seaweed snacks that I got at Aldi's. Yeah, they weren't that great. And one pack had like multiple pieces in it. I didn't I, I didn't think that. I was thinking they were going to be a little bit thicker than what they were. And so I definitely did not need to buy two packs. They were a fun try. And, you know, I will never eat them again, but I am going to be passing them out to family and stuff to let them try. All right, y'all. So I just finished our meal plan. So yesterday was Sunday. 
and we just did something super simple it was just me and the three younger ones so i just did um some chicken corn and we cut up some of the peaches we got this weekend and then tonight we're gonna do blts with broccoli and peaches i'm thinking i really want like some roasted broccoli so i can dip it in some ranch um so that's what I was thinking. And then tomorrow is going to be taco night and I'm going to make some Spanish rice with tacos. And I usually make myself a taco salad on taco night. On Wednesday, we're going to do calabasa and cabbage. And Thursday, stuffed peppers with asparagus. And then Friday is pizza night. And on Saturday, I figure we'll just do chicken legs with potatoes and more asparagus. And that will use up all of our fresh veggies for this week. And that is it, all right, y'all. So here is our budget and what we had spent this week and so far. I hope you guys can see this because I lost my other pen. I really needed that two for a dollar deal this week that I'm going to end up missing. But let me show you what we spent. So, Sam's Club, we spent $150. Aldi's, I spent $82. Martin's, I spent $35. And Walmart, we spent $60 with a total of $327. With how much I spent last week, I thought I would spend less this week. But nope, that's not the case. And so, we have left is $339 for the rest of this month so let's see how much how we do we only got two more weeks and i think i'll be all right all right y'all so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it got your inspiration and i'll see you in the next one remember to continue simply living your best life bye bye have a blessed day y'all